Hi, this is Dr. Sarkisian. In this video, I will try to demonstrate the home care instructions for parents or their young children who have had their lip or tongue tie resected. Of course, in our office, we only use the water lays for this purpose, which involves no stitches and allows the area to heal much faster than conventional methods. The actual procedure and rationale for phrenectomies will be covered in another video. At the end of this video, you will find the website address of my blog article, which discusses phrenectomies and their rationale in excellent detail. These are just a few examples of uh, lip tie or tongue tie resections by the laser. The healing process is very fast and within two weeks there may be no trace left of the procedure. The lip or tongue exercises I will be demonstrating here are intended to be applied for one month during this critical healing phase and a little longer. This is just a very short sample video of a labial phrenectomy case demonstrating how gentle the effect of this laser is on uh, tissue. So these are instructions for parents who have children who have undergone a tongue phrenectomy or lingual phrenectomy, which is the band under the tongue. So these are the exercises that you have to perform uh, a few times a day, as much as you can, on the child. And if the child understands, of course, like our beautiful girl here, who is old enough to do them herself. So this is uh, what we do for the lingual phrenectomy in older children, like, like you. So show us again. You remember what I told you? You have to open really wide and point your tongue up. Stretch your tongue, yes, and stretch as much as you can. And now move it left and right, left and right. And then now open real wide again, stick out your tongue all the way and move it left and right, good. And then open real big again and point your tongue up again and try to touch your palate and try to go as far back as you can, good. And now try to touch your upper lip with your tongue Staying wide open, correct. And now go left and right. Try to touch the whole length of your upper lip. Good job. Okay, now, in the case of little infants, this is what we do. Kind of open their mouth like that and pretend you're a little infant. <laughs> <laughs> so you, the infant really doesn't understand, so they're gonna struggle. So what you do is you put one finger under the tongue and try to lift it up. You just lift the baby's tongue from both sides by sticking your finger in. Of course, the baby will not have any teeth, and maybe we'll have a better video one day of an actual infant, but this is the whole point, that you just kind of swing the tongue upwards. Of course, the baby will try to resist, but at least they won't bite you, right? So that's what you do. So this is the labial frenum. And sometimes we have to laser this band here that attaches the gums to the upper lip. So when we have that done, you have to do this a few times a day. You grab the lip and you go left and right, left and right, and up and down, up and down. So in the cases of infants, again, you just kind of stick your finger in and just kind of stretch the lip upwards. Open a little bit. So you stick your fingers in on both sides and try to lift the lip upwards. You also can grab the lips and just kind of move them left and right and up and down. At first it's going to be sore so you won't be able to touch this area. So that's why you have to be a little gentle at first but in a couple of days you can actually increase the amplitude of this movement and do it as much as the child can tolerate it. Lip is concerned, again, we grab the lip and we take it left and right. We stretch it all the way to the left and to the right. And up and down, 
up and down. In infants, it may also help if you put your finger inside and you just kind of lift the lip upwards and stretch that band. Open a little bit. Yeah. So we're doing this movement here. And we've just completed the laser phrenectomy. The first few days, it's going to be very sore. So that's why we don't do this right over the sore. It's going to be painful. So that's why we try to kind of come sideways and lift lip upwards. <laughs> 